BBC snippets indexes uh, the metadata for about 800,000 BBC broadcasts. Um, one of our main sources is uh, the BBC Programme Information System. Uh, there we get metadata such as the programme title, programme description, uh, the genre, uh, the list of contributors and so on. Um, but uh, a unique position for the BBC really is that alongside every TV broadcast there's um, a subtitles for the hard of hearing. So this means that well, as well as the AV content we have a timeline transcript of uh, what was spoken within the programme. So we realised in BBC Snippets project that we could use this to uh, build a, a much richer search interface and a much more uh, in-depth search index so users can search for content based on what is actually spoken within the show. So this is the BBC Snippets interface and I'm just going to demonstrate a quick search to uh, give you an idea of the kind of metadata and kind of searches we can do using the back-end search system. So I'm going to search for a particular news story which is the Gordon Brown Mrs Duffy uh, debacle which happened back in 2010. Um, if you remember uh, Gordon Brown was speaking to one of his aides uh, but he had left his radio microphone on and he was recorded saying something he shouldn't about one of his uh, constituency members, Mrs. Duffy. So I'll put in the two search terms, those two names, Gordon Brown, Mrs. Duffy, and have a look at the results. Okay, so here we have uh, 151 programs that mention all those search words. And as you can see, most of them are news programs. Um, BBC Snippets and the search engine behind it offers ways to filter these search results based on genre. So if I was just interested in what comedians said on this, I could just use the comedy genre. Uh, by date, so I could search a specific date range. And by channel, so I could restrict my search to any of the BBC's channels. But these results look quite good, and it's a new story I'm after. And in fact, it's uh, this new story here. I can see the, the footage there in the keyframe is, is the exact footage I'm after. So I click through to the second set of search results and here I can see uh, a keyframe and the associated subtitle data uh, for that time in the video. So lots of mentions of Gordon Brown, lots of mentions of Mrs Duffy. If I scroll down here I can see this is the actual result I'm after. Uh, it's the part where he was caught on the radio microphone talking about Mrs Duffy. So I can click that and go through to the video page where it starts playing. And that's the exact clip I was after. On the right hand side here, you can see uh, the full transcript for the, for the program also. This is the search API that we've exposed via Mashery. And everything that you saw in the previous example on the website is powered by this search API. So it's the exact same service. Um, here's the basic search results page. And it says we've got uh, 821,000 uh, broadcasts. I can filter these results by let's say genre. So I'm saying genre equals news and now I've filtered the results down to 145,000 news, news broadcasts. I can go further and say I only want news broadcasts that mention the word Syria. So now I've got 19,000 broadcasts and probably with a topic like news I want to order these in um, date descending order, so the most recent broadcast first. So I can use the, the search engine to do that too. So here at the top of the list we have yesterday's news broadcast uh, that mentions Syria. Within the data we have um, all the BBC program information data, so uh, the synopsis, the title, the description, the genre, um, and also the PID identifier which links back to systems such as iPlayer. I can also expose the subtitles in these search results too. So if I say, show me some citations, it will show me the subtitles around the keyword. So here, subtitles around the conference on Syria next month. Another interesting piece of data we can expose in this uh, search system is date faceting. This is an idea I'd like to uh, prototype or see somebody prototype in the news hack as I think it could uh, lead to um, an interesting uh, visualization on the data. So I'll turn facets on, I'll say facet is the date facet for the year and the month. So we're still searching on the keyword Syria, we're still searching just news articles, 
but we're going to get, get back a little bit of extra information here. Um, so down here, we can see a list of the number of programs that mention Syria, uh, fasted by year and month. So we can see the numbers are quite low back in 2010, and then they start rising in 2011. And if we look right up to August, when the chemical attack happened in Syria, you can see there's a massive jump in the number of programs talking about Syria. So this could lead to some interesting visualizations on uh, what the particular coverage of a news story was and how that's affected over time as a story develops.